Hi there, this is a quick follow-up video to the video that I did some weeks ago concerning uh, Scott Totten and John Cousill departuring the Beach Boys touring group led by Mike Love. And I just want to make it clear, I do understand that I'm talking about the Beach Boys touring group led by Mike Love, not the Beach Boys. It's a different band, it's a different thing. And you know, I know that and I'm sure you know that as well. Someone commented about this thing on the previous video saying something like it's funny that I'm doing video about this and nobody cares and stuff like that and it's not current anymore whatever the, the Beach Boys touring group is very much true <clears throat> they have dozens or maybe hundreds of dates each year still so it is very current and it does matter and uh, it does matter uh, because we're talking about the legacy of the Beach Boys we're talking about its music we're talking about I mean the the touring group keeps the music alive and, and I, I do care about it and I know a lot of people also care about it as well but anyhow I have some <clears throat> breaking news come coming straight from John Cousill himself but anyhow just before I'm gonna read this to you I want to just tell you shortly what happened obviously we don't, obviously we don't know all the facts but what we do know is that uh, Scott Totten and John Cousill both left the Beach Boys touring group the same day during this spring there was like a little break before the summer tour and they just thanked Mike and the Beach Boys and the fans and you know they've been playing with them for 20 years and personally those two guys were the highlights of that band I really loved John Cousill's drumming and I felt that he was probably the best drummer since obviously after Dennis Wilson and after Ricky Fatar for this music. Personally, I really loved his style. I really loved his powerful drumming style. And uh, yeah, he's probably like my third favorite Beach Boys drummer. And yeah, so, and Scott Totten obviously is hugely talented singer, musician, and he was the band leader for you know two decades or whatever you know very long time and he's, he's very talented and uh, both are gonna be greatly missed and yeah anyhow but I'm gonna talk more about what I feel about this whole thing later on but you know they just left the, the group and no details were given and a few weeks later they had replacements and that's about it but Anyhow, John Cousill just a few days ago wrote on his public Facebook page. So these are public comments. That's why I'm, I'm gonna share them with you. He wrote, I was let go by the Beach Boys. So why does that equate to retiring? Lots of la laugh. And then the you know discussion continued. Someone, someone wrote, wait, what? I thought you left them. Um, and then he answered uh, somebody oh nope somebody else also asked you and Scott were fired and he answered I can't speak for Scott and added John added I was let go they wanted to change things up not a big deal and then he also added I love John Bolton and a great guy in addition to being a fun drummer to watch so obviously he d doesn't want any kind of bad blood but he says it straight here he was fired and that's kind of weird to me obviously I don't know the reasons we don't know the reasons for that I mean he says that they just wanted to change things up but what I've seen I mean and I don't want to talk bad about the new drummer but I've seen some clips uh, of the new lineup and doesn't seem to me like they have changed things up like musically it sounds very generic Beach Boys you know it's not like they went reggae or something you know it sounds the, pretty much sounds the same thing kind of so but it's just missing the John Cousy energy you know he, he brought a lot to the group you know the, the music so I, I don't know uh, and then there's also this this thing that it seems that John, John Stamos actually had a hand in ping, picking up the new new drummer. And that's kind of weird to me. But I'm going to leave 
it that that that, that you know I'm not gonna uh, say anything more about that but but anyhow I, I think the new drummer wrote that John Stamos got the gig for him and that's that's just weird to me but whatever uh, but yeah so obviously it does sound like Scott was probably also fired and it's very strange for me why would you want to <clears throat> let go two of your biggest assets pretty weird to me I don't know what's going on over there and to be honest <clears throat> well I haven't seen this group since 2015 they haven't been coming anywhere near me so I uh, haven't had any chances uh, well, uh, for a few years I was thinking when when Mike did the, you know, the Trump thing and the safari thing and all these, I was kind of, you know, done with it. But obviously now that they are getting older each year, and at this point I'm just happy that they are still performing the music, that there are, there is a group performing the Beach Boys music, and <clears throat> at least up until this moment, uh, they have been very professional and they have sounded great for the most part and uh, my mind switched during these covid years i started to think that if i had a, if i had a, another chance i'd probably go and see them again right now i'm once again kind of in the middle i'm i just just lost a lot of interest in seeing them because the new guys i mean in some ways i guess i am kind of a little bit more interested because I would like to compare the new guys and the new... Because basically the whole lineup pretty much has changed since from when I saw them. They had Jeff Foskett and uh, Christian wasn't performing with them. Actually, uh, on those shows that I saw them, they had uh, Christopher Cross with them as well. Because that was in London, it was a special thing. But that was great. That was a great, great shows that I saw and a uh, great lineup. But right now it's like, uh, well, I mean, I guess it would be interesting to see the new guys, but you like at the same time I'm thinking they missed, they just lost so much with Scott and John that I'm just not so sure. It's kind of like with Brian, if Brian's band would lose the same year, Darian and, you know, whoever like like you know whoever of the guys you know like they are so great factors making what the you know that experience is so you know i don't know it's 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 a tough thing and obviously like the your basic like you know the most of the fans that, that or the people that go to see mike's beach boys that whole concert going on that whole audience is it's very much different from the people that go see Brian Wilson or went to see Brian when he was still touring it seems now that he's completely retired but the fan bases the audiences are very different and I kind of think that most of the people that go see the band called the Beach Boys are going there for nostalgic reasons just to have fun they don't really care about if there's you know scott or john or or john yon whatever you know they don't care about that so i guess it's fine with them it's not gonna probably not gonna you know influence any ticket sales or anything like that but from like musical st standpoint i i think it's a kind of risky decision and uh yeah, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the the you know Scott and Johnny years. You know they were very always solid, very good musicians, and I hope all the best for them. I hope that they're gonna you know find new gigs and uh, yeah. I'm I don't, I'm not sure what else there is to say. I was gonna, I had some other point as well. I wanted to talk to you about, but I guess that's all the most important things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this was the last little thing, yeah. So, like, I really loved the 50th anniversary tour because obviously it didn't, 
didn't just bring the band together, you know, the two camps, Mike and Brian and Sidekicks and, you know, it didn't just do that, but it also brought the fan base together. I really loved that. And I missed that time when everybody was just, you know, one and there were no villains. I mean, that was just a great year. And I really missed that. And, uh, well, it seems right now that there's just really a memory of it, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching. What do you think about this whole incident and the changes in the touring group? And like, what do you think about the touring group? Anyhow, I would love to hear your thoughts on this subject. Let's continue in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.